Antonio with Enhanced Movements in the Movement Code, and we're going over our Movement Mondays again. And what we're reviewing today is neck pain and dissociation exercises. So this was prompted by a patient that we we just recently had just um, <clears throat> this last week who was coming in with neck pain that had been responding well to the care that we give, which would be in, in our profession, chiropractic adjustments as well as some soft tissue and looking at some other uh, potential things that she can do for home care exercise which would include some chin tucks and some other stuff. But she was still having a few different <clears throat> spots within her neck or her range of motion that were creating like these like pinchy type of feelings that she just couldn't get past and she was really fixated on. And we were just having, uh, we, we only see her a handful of times and the, and the soft tissue was definitely improving, but this was the main thing that she wanted to address. So what we were looking at is some ways for her to do some, again, some things at home to, to create a more active care model that will help her get rid of that pinchy pain as well as improve her range of motion and clear up any of those tight spots. So what we were using is these dissociation exercises. Now what we mean by dissociation exercises is one thing is doing another one thing while a different range of, or sorry, a different area is doing either range of motion, active movement, or something completely different, right? We're dissociating the two different body parts. So in our case, what we're gonna be working on is essentially using our upper back and our shoulders to create an isometric type of movement to create a stable platform for the neck and all the neck muscles while we go through neck ranges of motion. So the example that we're giving is just simply replicated by what the patient was experiencing is this lateral flexion kind of extension moment. She was getting a lot of pinching here. Now this is before we did any adjustment or, or soft tissue in this session. We wanted to see and test this out. So all we did was take a TheraBand here, okay? Now, you can anchor it so that you're pulling towards yourself, or you can simply just be pulling it across. So from here, I, I had the band, I'm gonna pull back. So by pulling back, I feel my upper back muscles, my rhomboids, my lats, and a bunch of other stuff basically just working. From here, all you're gonna do is just go through some neck range of motion issues. Now, there's no right or wrong. What we did want her to do, though, is test that position in which she had that pinchy feeling. Instantaneously, this cleared up her pain. So again, we're using this as not only kind of a, uh, an educational tool to indicate to her that if there was any tissue damage or anything wrong, that wouldn't be the case. You wouldn't see those immediate changes. But more importantly, this is something that she can do at home that will help her clear up her range of motion and clear up that pinchy pain. Now, we're not pushing into that range of motion. We're simply just asking her to explore the areas in which she's having that pain or discomfort. So she had some other spots. She's basically just carving out her range of motion, exploring, mapping out to see what's limited. And then with that activation pattern, we see if it clears up. If it clears up, we're gonna rinse and repeat and see how it just keeps working along with her. So this has been responding really well for her. And again, this is something that was just a, a simple trick or a tool that she can do at home and she doesn't even need a practitioner to do for. So if you're having a pinchy neck, first and foremost, get it evaluated, get it checked out to make sure we know what's going on. But if it's something that you're having some difficulty or trouble with, something like a dissociation exercise may be beneficial for you. Again, we're simply just using some sort of a band. It could be an anchor band on the wall. You're just gonna pull apart or you're gonna pull back into you and you're just gonna go through your ranges of motion you normally would for your neck. So this is Movement Mondays. Share this if you find it to be beneficial for you. You can tag us at Enhanced Movements or at Movement Code and we really appreciate you guys following along.